Hey everybody, how's it going? Superfiend here, and welcome back to our Total War Skarsnik Crooked Moon campaign. So we just fought a pretty tough battle here at Mount Squighurn. The dwarves won, and now they're retreating, which is great news for us. I did just take a moment to look at the campaign victory conditions, and it's good to keep an eye on these every now and then. So let's just see how we're doing here. We need to take back Carrot Gate Peaks. We did that a while ago. We've pretty much killed all of the greenskin factions, except for the top knots. They're roaming around somewhere. We've uh, completed our obligation for occupying, looting, or raising different settlements. And we need to come in here and take control of um, these dwarf holds that are up here. And we need to unite these ones over here, I believe, also. And then we have to destroy the dwarves, which right now we've got the upper hand, okay? If we push hard this way, we can actually get that done over the next couple episodes, I believe. We have earned quite a bit of money from raiding, 29000 over the course of the campaign. And we have to ensure that Archaon is in a wounded state. He is sitting right over here, heading south. We don't really have to work hard to get him or to go to him. He'll come straight to us. Now, during the AI turns... The border princes made an odd move. They maneuvered over here with um, all these mortars. So that's kind of interesting. So what we might do is we might start this episode off by killing Valmer here and crushing this army. Skarsnik with his wyvern and wonderful um, equipped items. I think he could take care of this all by himself. Let's just see if there are any uh, regiments of renown that we might want to hire to help us with this. And, you know, I think we'll go ahead and we'll grab these two units of night goblins. And so let's just hop in here. And, and this is kind of a stupid battle to fight, but we're going to fight it. Uh, just to see how Skarsnik, or not Skarsnik, Azag, how he does. And basically, we're going to take our whole army and just put it out of range of the mortars and fly in with Azag and just start hacking everything up. We'll take these two regiments of renowned night goblins and we'll kind of deploy them um, like either on this side or that side. And their heroes are right in the center. So I think what we'll do is we'll put the night goblin regiments of renowned. We'll put them up here and we'll just come in from the back. And let's see, we do have spells with Azag, so let's gamble. Coming up red. That seems to happen a lot to us, doesn't it? All right. Now, the mortars can see the, the giant and the arachnorok, but we're going to... Actually, if we... Where can we put them? I don't want them to get shot by mortar fire, so let's actually... Let's just put them over here. And you know what? We'll, move, we'll just move them back over there. Everything that's large that can't hide what's his mount he's on a boar so let's see we'll put him right there he should be hidden yep and we'll put azag um oh i don't know over here he's flying we'll take our chariots we've got a couple of those a few of them actually and we'll just put those over here we're going to take all this stuff and we're going to move it like back into the corner and we'll take these units of squiggies. We want them all to be hidden. We'll take our spider riders. They have vanguard. So we can actually put them in the trees right here. They're hidden. And we got some night goblin archers that we can hide. Okay, we missed one unit of trolls when we put these guys over here. And who's left? We got some orc boys. Uh, we'll just put the orc boys over here. And they should be out of the uh, firing arc of the mortars. They're out of range initially. And who's got farther range? Is it the mortars? Or is it the rock lobbers? And it looks to be the rock lobbers. So what we'll do is we'll take our two rock lobbers... And we'll put them right here. And we'll put a, uh, a unit of goblin spears, I guess, right here over the hilltop to protect them. All right, so let's move this guy. Let's get these guys cruising. Let's start moving up with uh, Azag here. And so what are they going to do? They're going to come towards us. 
They're going to move in the range of our rock lobbers, I believe. And let's see. Can we cruise through here without being uncovered with our spiders? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna come down with Azag over there. And what's his spells? Aspect of the Dread Knight, uh, cause terror. The the two debuffs and a Spirit Leech. Okay. Let's uh, cruise this guy through here. All right, they're all firing on Azag now, so let's just go over here and see how he's doing. Okay, I thought he had the uh, the ward save, the Talisman of Obsidian, or whatever it's called. That's all right, we got those guys on the run, and we'll just move down the line with Azag here. And so let's speed it up. And just see how we do. Okay, they're gone. Azag's really not taking any damage. And the mortars are just pretty much finishing off uh, their own troops. And it's kind of interesting. Like the 4th of July over here. Is that the battle wizard? Yeah, that was the battle wizard. And... Azag is barely getting touched, but his um, he's tired, okay? So, you gotta get Azag, and let's see. Um, you gotta get Azag on the Lord. We'll do a direct damage. And we'll go ahead and knock down the armor rating of these guys. We'll buff Azag's attack. And we probably need to lift Azag up out of here now. Let's take off, because he's starting to lose. And let's see, we'll just come in this way with these guys. And now we'll come up with the spiders. So Azag did his part. And let's see, let's... Let's swoop down in here on this guy again. Narrowly missed that fireball. And we'll direct damage this guy. So he'll go down pretty fast. And now the artillery is turning the faces over here. This guy's almost dead. And we're gonna get our spiders all tangled up in here. And that'll be the end of that guy. And then we'll attack this guy here. And let's see, do we want to overcast this and make both the spiders cause terror? Sure, why not? And do we want to take away everyone's leadership in there? Yeah, we'll do that too. And there goes the Lord, he's dead. All right, so everything in here is gonna crumble pretty fast, right? This guy's gone. Okay, there we go. And now for the slaughter. And let's see, get these guys, these guys, these guys, these guys. We haven't got our trolls yet. And everybody else is slow, right? So really not much point. Well, we, I guess we can get the spider over here too, right? He can have fun and we'll get the giant loping along. Rock lobbers, uh, quit firing. And let's just make sure we get this guy killed. Okay, and here comes all of our stuff over here. Let's make sure everybody's running. They are. Is this guy going to make it off the field? Okay, they killed whatever it was they were after. He killed them. Here come the, uh, the chariots. They're catching up. Firing their missiles. Let's disable that. And put on melee mode. And good enough, right? 
So it looks, I do have a, um, an AI better recruitment mod and it doesn't look like it really took effect for this uh, AI army here. And so now what we'll do is we'll take the replenishment, 18%. We must have ate lots of uh, Border Prince troops. What? Minus five leadership when fighting humans. Well, that's just silly. And we'll take Azag and we'll just uh, move him over here. And on the next turn, uh, you know what? I'm going to force march and I'm going to go a little bit back. That way he's not in reinforcement range and the Waw is not going to initiate this attack. So we'll have the Waw finish these guys off. And then on the next turn, Azag will lay siege. And when the Waw catches up, we'll kill these guys. Let's go ahead and get... Uh, let's do the let's do these last two spells here, and then the next level we can get diviner. Okay, so looking good there. Uh, we started to build this building here, and Varg is moving in this way. So, you know, we kind of maybe want to recruit and get an extra army up heading that way. And maybe what we'll do is maybe we'll have this guy uh, swing down here and pick up the trolls and then head that way. Because I think I think that Wurzag, Skarsnik, and Grimgore can take out the dwarves amongst themselves. I, I think that's enough firepower. So let's force march this way. And we'll transfer three of these troll units into his army. There we go. And I think what we'll do then is, where's our recruitment center? Okay, so we got a decent recruitment center in here. So maybe we'll swing this guy down this way. Not him, whoops. Get back in there. This guy, we're gonna swing this guy down this way and he's gonna do some recruiting. And let's see, it's Carrick Eight Peaks. So the farthest he has to go is like right to here. We'll just give him a movement order to there, and then he can start recruiting. And up here, let's try to catch the uh, the dwarves if we can. So let's see. Grimgor has got the war machines, so I kind of think that he should initiate the attack. Skarsnik should come on his reinforcements, I guess. So let's catch up here. And he ran away, expected that. And let's see. So now we're going to force march. And we're going to get in between him and his uh, possible destination. Okay, he's still got a decent army. Um, if we intercept with Skarsnik, if he tries to underground move and we intercept with Skarsnik, um, I, don't, I don't know if Skarsnik or Grimgore by themselves can take this army. Uh, it might be a good idea to go ahead and add these units here. I think we will, and we'll get the um, we'll get the nice uh, regiment of renown, rock lobber. So hopefully it's Grimgore that does the interception if we intercept at all. And with Belagar here, we're just going to block the, the army. Well, we failed. I was hoping to block it so that he can't come down here and reinforce Thorgrim. Now, this got sacked, so let's go ahead and, um, ooh, no, we want to do this instead. And I guess we'll go ahead and increase our growth there. Uh, in the desolation of Nagash, uh, I guess we ran out of money. I was going to upgrade one of those uh, settlements. And this is going up to level 5, so we can finally bring this one up to level 3. And we have 800 income left. And let's see... I think that's it for this turn. Let's see if we can increase either the fightiness. we got to wait uh, one turn for him and one turn for him before we can bump up their fightiness. All right. And I forgot to move Warzag, so he's lagging behind. All right, interception. Oh, this is a, uh, this is a tough battle. Um... All these hammerer units. Now, Grimgore could probably take Thorgrim one-on-one. 6,200 hit points. Oh, I don't know. That's tough. Maybe maybe Grimgore combined with 
a unit of nasty skulkers. Or maybe a unit of night goblins. Well, and let's see. Do we have enough missile units to take down the gyrocopter? We do. And these guys are pretty weak. And we're going to try it. Grimgore does not shy away from a battle. Scarsnick would because he's sneaky. Uh, but Grimgore is um, all 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 brawn and no brains. Okay. Now we intercepted, so we have to move to them. If I if I remember how this game works correctly. Okay, so let's uh, cruise up here. Cruise up here. Cruise in here. Now the black orcs. And Grimgore, and the Boar Boys, and the Spider. Those are all back here, so let's uh, get them moving. The Spider, the Boar Boys, Grimgore, and the Black Orcs. Let's move them forward, and the War Machines. How far do we? How far forward do we have to move these before we can start hitting stuff? Okay, so we're just watching our firing arcs, and let's see. Uh, the iron breakers are a real nasty problem, so let's... And where's this one? It's more on the right. Okay, let's... Okay, let's slow it down, actually. Let's fire on them. And we'll fire on them. And we'll fire on the hammers, and then this last one here will fire on these iron breakers that are kind of on the right. Okay, and I want to keep the boar boys back here. You know, I don't want to take fire from them if I don't have to. Okay, Grimgore and the black orcs. All right, so here they come. Oh boy. We firing yet? We are. Okay, good. That was a uh, that was a nice chunk of health that they just lost. And these are long beards, and they don't have um, they don't have shields. Let's see. Maybe we put our night goblins way on the edge here. Okay, now if we move Grimgore forward, the cannon might be inclined to start firing on Grimgore, but it might have moved up to start firing at the spider. Let's see. Not, no, it's firing at the boar boys, so we'll move them back because they're cavalry. And they can make up the distance faster than other units. Okay, so these iron breakers here are just uh, losing lots of health. We got to get Grimgore... Okay, here's our Thorgrim assassination squad. It's these three units right here. Okay. And maybe we'll charge the spider into the thunderers. Because I think it'll make short work of them. Or maybe we'll do the boar boys into the thunderers. Okay. Let's maybe do some retargeting here. Okay, and okay, Thorgrim looks like he's heading towards Grimgore. All of our nasty skulkers just got spotted, and now they know that we got um, missile units. All right, Grimgore, go get him. And actually, where are our missile units? Oh yeah, they're way over here. Okay, so we need to get them. We need to move our missiles up so that we can fire on uh, the gyrocopter. Okay, in we come. Let's cruise up with the spider. And then we'll come in with the boar boys. There you go. You guys are now going to be busy fighting with the little unit of spiders there. Okay, let's get these guys up here. And we got to get the black orcs in here. How's Grimgore doing? Armor piercing damage. Melee attack there. And we do have the potion of toughness if we need it. Let's take our war machines and fire on the corollers. 
Let's see. We just lost everything in here. Okay. Okay, let's get the Boar Boys on the Thunderers. These Iron Breakers are going to go down. Oh, man. We are... Taking so much damage in here. Okay, come on, Grimgor. You got to kill him. Only you can do it. Man, the uh, the Iron Breakers are just crumbling us. Okay, let's uh, let's get in here on Thorgrim. Okay, we need to pop that potion of toughness, and let's get on these hammers if we can. Okay, we need to get our Night Goblin archers over here, and anybody who's uh, coming back to the fight. Let's see, these guys we need to get them back in here. Oh, even our Black Orcs are getting crushed. Okay. And let's just ground fire right in the middle of all this. We're going to lose our boar boys. And Grimgor is just not doing any damage to Thorgrim. Okay, now let's see. We'll fire on the Quarrelers. And we'll fire on, I guess, the Hammers. These Iron Breakers refuse to go down. The Black Orcs are in big trouble. Okay, let's get back in here. And we've got the Spider is still up. And Grimgore is still up. Although Grimgore is now like half health. These Hammers are going down pretty fast. Not looking good. Okay. And let's see, let's get over here. Wow, Thorgrim is uh, tearing Grimgore apart, right? Uh, Grimgore is pretty fast. Maybe if we just run him out of here. And we'll let the archers uh, shoot down Thorgrim. Okay, let's come over this way. Let's get on these iron breakers here, actually. Okay. And our war machines, let's see, we can fire on these iron breakers. And Thorgrim, ultra sturdy. Oh boy. We gotta do everything we can to weaken the dwarves. And then uh, through some recruitment and then pushing hard into their territory. Come on. It will not let me click on uh, Thorgrim's banner. There we go. And we're losing the missile units over here now. And let's get all of our infantry and just target Thorgrim. And then we'll deselect the spider and Grimgor. And let's see, maybe target these guys. Look at Thorgrim, he's a beast. Okay, I don't know why the spider's running off. And we're pretty much lost our missile units. We got the boar boys here, so let's go see if we can kill the cannon. And we got these uh, night goblins, so we'll see if we can get the cannon with them. And Grimgore has gone. Oh, for a second I got excited. I thought we killed Thorgrim, but no, it was Grimgore. We can pop up some spiders here. Get those on Thorgrim, but uh, we are going to lose this battle, unfortunately. I, I was inclined not to fight it, but then at the same time, you know, if we can weaken Thorgrim as much as possible, um, and then as we move in with Skarsnik and Warzag, we should be able to make up the difference. All right. Oh, boy. So, Thorgrim, very tough, very strong, and this uh, spam from the Iron Breakers, the, the little bombs that they throw, really crushes goblin morale. Orc boy morale, too. We, we really should be using, um, like, black orcs.
but I am I am role playing a little bit and trying to use just goblins because it is a scar snake campaign. If we if it was a Grimgore campaign, I'd probably be using the better black orc units, and if it was a Warzag campaign, I'd want to be using more of the uh, savage orc units. Just a little fun to kind of stick with the lore and the flavor of your legendary lord. It's not going to stop us from winning the campaign. It's just going to make it take a little bit longer. All right. So, we, oh, we lost our 15% physical resistance. That sucks. Okay, but where did he move to here? That is so boneheaded. Okay. That's a very boneheaded maneuver. Okay. That's going to be it for Thorgrim. And can we do any recruitment in here? We cannot. All right. So let's let's wipe him out. Decides to move again. Okay. And can Warzak catch him? He just can. That's going to be it for you, buddy. We're going to fight this one, right? One good turn deserves another. And their cannon is, is almost dead. So if we turn a couple of our war machines on the cannon, they'll lose that advantage over us. But I don't, I don't think we're going to do that. Um, let's see. Okay, this is the way we're going to deploy over here. A little bit heavier on this side. And I guess start the battle, because Scarsnake's coming on as reinforcements. Okay, so let's get Scarsnake in here with the trolls. And let's get all the nasty skulkers in here. And all of our night goblins. Okay, we're taking fire from the uh, cannon. Oh, okay, we got the garrison coming on on that side, right? Okay. Let's see. We don't have a direct damage. We have a, a magic missile that we can use against Thorgrim, and honestly, it's not very good, but we'll give it a shot. We'll try it out. Um, let's just come over this way. All right, let's see if it hits him at all. Okay, they're throwing their bombs. Get out of there. Ooh, okay. Okay. I don't know if we did any damage to Thorgrim. I didn't really get a tell. Okay, let's try again. Not really. Ouch. Okay, and then we're taking all that bomb fire. And let's see. Let's fire on these guys. Uh, these hammers. These iron breakers. Actually, the middle one will retarget over there. Okay. And what do we got here? We're going to be using Here We Go. Along with Skarsnik's uh, charge bonus. And let's get our missile units. Firing on the gyrocopter, who's now going to drop a ton of bombs on us. All right. Here we go. Melee attack. And we'll get as much of our guys selected as we can here. Off we go in the battle. And let's get... Uh, it's not up yet. Okay. So the gyrocopter's going down. We'll stop firing with the war machines. And gyrocopter's gone. We'll fire on these iron breakers. We'll make sure that all the doors are slow. Use our little doll here, and let's see. Put a gork on these uh, iron breakers. And what else do we got? Magic missile. No point in firing off that other stuff. Thorgrim's going down. These guys are going down. Everything's dying. 
And we're not leaving the battlefield until this little guy right here is dead. So we're going to speed it up because that could take a moment. And we'll stop with our war machines and our missile units while we wait. There's Skarsnik over here. Let's get Skarsnik in there and buff everyone's melee attack, charge bonus, all this stuff. Thorgrim's dead. Okay, good. Uh, of course, on Legendary, the AI will probably bring uh, Thorgrim up in one or two turns. Twenty-eight hundred from winning that battle, and we're gonna take the leadership. Got some magic resistance. And let's see. Right, we should be able to underground move um, and cover some pretty good distance. Okay. Let's look in here. What were we doing with this guy? I'm not really sure. I don't really remember. Let's go ahead and get an extra point into the foot of Gork. And here we go. And that'll help us keep, keep ourselves nice and buffed, nice and strong. This is for ambush chance, right? Yeah, I don't care about that. And let's see. Oh, I guess the Fist of Gork too. Let's move Sly Dawi Hater up this way. And that looks good. Now, if we recruit a Lord in here, uh, we could start doing some global recruitment. Uh, orc, 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 Night Goblin. Okay, we're gonna get this guy. And we're gonna do some global recruitment. And let's see. We got 21,000. Um, waiting on the technology for that. It's gonna take 10 turns. Okay, let's get two rock lobbers, uh, two units of trolls, and one chariot for now. And we'll just keep an eye on that guy. And we'll start recruiting, and then maybe when Grimgor comes back up, we'll pop Grimgor in there. Okay, this guy, he's going to run down here and recruit for us from, um, not Carrick Eight Peaks, but the Eastern Badlands. This guy's going to head this way, and you get back in your settlement. So he's going to head this way. He's going to help Azag and this guy over here um, secure that area from Varg. And Azag... We're gonna come lay siege. And we'll build a couple towers. And so let's see. Orc boys and chariots. And this is level four, is it not? Yeah, no upgrading there. And let's go ahead and get our walls and we'll work on treasury. Let's see. Carrick Eight Peaks, uh, Black Crag. Let's go ahead and upgrade the the Shaman's Hovel. That's going to be the rest of our money. And we're looking good. And just what's our public order? It's going down in the Black Mountains. It's going up almost everywhere else, except for these other locations, which we've always had public order problems in. So let's end the turn. And can we... Oh, yeah, okay, we can fix his fightiness. And we'll see what happens. So the dwarves are full on retreating. And we're going to push that way with Wurzak, Skarsnik, and maybe Grimgor when he comes back. And we got to figure out what we're going to do about chaos here. Um, I don't know. We might have to pull up a couple of Night Goblin armies. And sacrifice some income per turn and kind of weaken chaos by sacrificing uh, large armies of goblins at them and just, you know, wear them down. Okay, so these guys are going to assault the uh, settlement of Carrick Norn. We're going to save that for the next battle or the next episode. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time and have a good afternoon.